Hi, I'm Spencer from XBase, and in this video, we'll be covering the basics of how to utilize the Shared Park feature on 3CX with the handset and the desktop application. Before we look at how to use the Shared Park feature, let's get a better understanding of what Shared Parking is. Shared parking is a feature that allows you to place a call on hold and pick it up from another extension within your organization. This is another way of transferring a call, but offers greater flexibility than a traditional transfer. While a traditional transfer is directed at one particular person or extension, shared parking is just that, it's shared. So anyone with permission to that shared parking spot can pick up the call. For instance, if a caller would like to speak to a member of the sales department, but all available sales representatives are busy, the receptionist can park the call in any open slot, like SP1 for example, and notify all members of the sales team via instant message or email. Then, when the first representative that ends their current call is available, they can simply retrieve the call from SP1 and assist the caller. Shared parking spots are extremely versatile because they can be configured in numerous different ways. They can be set up so that certain parking spots are dedicated to specific departments, such as sales, accounting, and administration. These separate parking spots can be run alongside spots that are accessible company-wide as well, allowing for department-to-department -department privacy when required with the dedicated spots, whilst also maintaining organizational-wide synergy with the non-partitioned spots. So now that we know what shared parking is, let's take a look at how to utilize it on the handset. For the purposes of our demonstration, our call will originate from an internal extension, but this process will be the same for the external caller. Once a receptionist picks up the inbound call, they will place the caller into a shared parking spot by simply pressing one of the green SP buttons. It's important that they choose an SP button that is green and not a red one. Green means that the spot is currently free, while red means that there is another caller currently in that parking spot. Once the caller has been placed into a parking spot, that spot will turn red, signaling to all other members that that spot is currently occupied. Now for our end recipient to retrieve the call from the shared parking spot. To retrieve the call, our recipient will simply press SP1 on their handset. After doing so, the call will be immediately connected. It's that simple. The process for parking and retrieving a call via the Windows app is quite similar. For this example, the receptionist will place the caller in shared parking from the Windows app and the end recipient will pick up via the handset. That's one really neat feature about shared parking. Any call placed in one of the SP slots is available on any 3CX device, whether it's handset, desktop, or mobile app, as long as they have permission to that shared parking spot. In order to use the shared parking feature on the desktop app, the BLF side panel will first need to be opened. This can be done by pressing on the three blue dots in the upper right corner of the window and selecting Show BLF Side Panel. Now, we can see any calls that are in the shared parking or park one of our own. After the receptionist gets the inbound call, they can simply press on any one of the vacant spots and the call will immediately be connected into shared parking. As we can see, all the current spots are free as indicated by the green status lights. Once the receptionist puts the caller into a shared parking spot, it'll turn yellow. Now you may be wondering, why an occupied spot on the handset turns red and why on the desktop app it turns yellow? Well, on the Windows app, the red represents a do not disturb state, while the yellow signifies a user is on a call or occupied. So, just remember, an occupied spot on the handset is red, and an occupied spot on the desktop app is yellow. When the recipient is ready to pick up the call, they can press the SP button and connect the call. And that's where we're going to end this video on utilizing the Shared Park feature on 3CX. We hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and we'll try to answer them the best we can. Until next time, take care.